back to my channel. I hope you all enjoyed my last video which was a day in the life of a Mayan mother with 12 children. If you haven't seen that video out yet, I actually suggest you go check that one out first. I'll put a link somewhere up here, so be sure to do that. If you'd like to support her story or my content, literally the best thing you can do is just to share it to the world. I absolutely believe that local stories are such gems and they need to be shared and cherished more often so that everyone can get inspired of those beautiful yet simple stories. So for today's video, guys, I am doing something that has been requested for so many times. Since I started my YouTube, I've been getting all these requests from these beautiful young ladies asking me to show them my nighttime skincare routine or my makeup routine or how I get ready in the morning. All those videos are coming up, hopefully. But today, I just wanted to show you guys what my nighttime skincare routine is. So it is 7 p.m. right now in Placentia. I just came back from my dinner and I'm ready to relax at home. Whenever I'm like ready and done for the day, I like to remove my makeup as soon as possible so that my skin can also start relaxing as well as my body and my mind and my soul. Anyways, before I start going into the actual steps, I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what my philosophy on skincare is. I like to think of skincare as more of a preventative, protective, nourishing and replenishing routine. So in terms of my skin, I actually have a normal yet very good skin. I did not get any type of breakouts or acne during puberty and still now I rarely get um, pimples or breakouts and I'm very very thankful for all the beautiful women in my family line. They have such great skin hence I think the DNA was just um, passed along the line and I'm one of those special yet lucky situations but because of that fact I tended to ignore my skin a lot. I didn't really take good care of it up until last year. So from last year I started to take care of my skin with more intentional effort and I've been feeling the benefits a lot. I relax better, I sleep better, my makeup tend to settle in well and my skin is just more healthier and fresh and glowy and dewy and all of the great attributes that I love to have on my skin. For those of you young girls and women and young adults watching this video, I suggest you to take care of your skin as early as possible. If you're not doing any of the steps that I'm doing right now, I suggest you actually just consider taking that step in action and making that investment because your skin is going to thank you in 10 years, in 20, 30, 40 years ahead of time because the earlier you take care of your skin, the better it is. Wow, so beautiful. Spotty too. Okay. Alright, so I have my headband on right now and the very first step in my skincare routine is Clinique's taking the day off cleansing balm. So the texture inside is balmy, meaning that it's hard. I like to remove my makeup with a more oily based product. That way it can fully get rid of all the heavy based makeup products such as mascara, eyeliner, and eyeshadow. Those areas are really important because I feel like they don't really come off completely when I use a soap based product. The main texture of this product is that it's a silky balm, like it's actually hard. But once it touches your skin, it becomes a silky and oily formula. So what I'm going to do right now is just rub this all over my face and it's going to remove all my makeup off. I like to use an upward facing motion and I try not to bring my face skin down so I hope you guys do the same thing as well. So I like to go all over my skin and neck and I do my eyes at the very end because that's when all the makeup tends to come off. Alright, 
so I think I'm done with it. Okay, so once that's done, all I do is just rinse it off with water. The best thing about this formula is that it tends to change its textures. So in the box, it was a solid balm formula. As soon as it touches my skin, it becomes a silky, oily formula. But as soon as it touches water, it becomes a non-greasy liquid. So it's super easy to wash it off. So I'll go wash my face and I'll be back. Step in my skincare routine is Clinique's liquid facial soap. I have the mild one. This one is really cool be because it allows me to do a two-step cleansing process. Although I have washed away all the cleansing balm from my face, the facial soap will allow me to get rid of even more dirt and excess dust that may be still clogged in my pores. I also really like the packaging because one pump is literally enough for your entire face. My skin feels so good. Alright, so the third step in my skincare routine is Clinique's Exfoliating Lotion. This is really cool. It's a really nice, refreshing, cool formula that allows my skin to get rid of all the excess dust and flakes that may still be clogged in my pores. I used to purchase facial wash. So basically, I used to purchase these type of facial washes with a scrub in it. But I really like this formula because it's an exfoliator, but it does not have any type of particles in it. All I have to do is dab this on a cotton pad and just gently wipe it off my face and it works as an exfoliator. So let's test this out. In terms of cotton pads, I like to use Sujedo's facial cotton. They are the most softest and the most smoothest cotton pads I've used ever and my mom uses them so that's where I got introduced to them initially. So if you guys use cotton pads, I highly suggest you to check out Sujedo's cotton pads. They are so nice. Alright, so all I have to do is just is just dab a little bit and then gently wipe it over my face you don't have to do this hard just a gentle wipe is good enough don't forget your neck as well your neck is very important So after this process, my skin just feels so refreshed, so cool, and it feels really tight and feels really, really clean, absolutely clean, and it gives me the stingy feeling, and that just, I think, is the formula that it makes really puts your skin into a more refreshed mode. So as you guys know, I already went through two steps of cleansing process, but still, the third one is still bringing out some disgusting things. That's why exfoliating with this third step is so important. It just removes all the extra and excess dust, flakes, and probably sun cream. A lot of sun cream <laughs> that I apply every day. I usually go through two cotton pads, but I think today one is good for me. So let's move on to the fourth step. So the fourth step in my nighttime skincare routine is Clinique's Moisture Surge Cream. This is really cool. It has a gel-based texture, meaning that it is more on the cooler side and it's not oily. I really like this one because I don't really need to use much. Like just a little bit goes such a long way because it's gel-based. It basically slides over on my face and it addresses fine line and wrinkles and it is such a moisture boost in a way that it provides 72 hour auto replenishing moisture meaning that if you have any type of spottiness on your face this will this is the product that kind of evens out the tone it tightens your skin it addresses fine lines and wrinkles and just gives you this boost of moisture That's it for step number four. So if you guys have noticed, I like to use a lot of cool base products starting from, you know, the wash, 
the toner and then also this gel based cream is because you know during the day I'm in a tropical country it's so hot and I'm applying a lot of sunscreen which are mostly oil based so at the end of the night I just like to really balance out the temperature in my skin by applying more cool and refreshing products all right guys so the fifth step in my nighttime skincare routine is an eye cream but on the actual Clinique website the name is so long I need to read it out to you guys it's called moisture surge 96 hour hydro filler concentrate eye cream meaning that it's just an eye cream that you can use it to apply under your makeup you can use it as an eye cream before you sleep and then you can also use it as an eye mask I like to use it as an eye cream for my nighttime routine all you need to do is just get out a small pea pod shape and then rub it between your fingers so that the little particles which contains the beautiful formula kind of pops and then blends in with the actual gel formula again this is the gel formula meaning that it's going to cool the skin around my eye so all I do is just apply it under my eye all I do is actually just apply it all over my eyes and I tend to just massage it a little bit That's it. So once this dries up, this is a really cool formula in a way that it just tightens up my creases and I can literally feel it. <laughs> so the last step, the sixth step in my nighttime skincare routine and the sun has almost set so it's the perfect time for an overnight mask. I, I like to use Clinique's over, overnight mask. All I need is just a small amount and I apply it all over my face. I really like this formula because it gives my skin moisture overnight and basically my skin is just drinking moisture with this mask and in the morning I can just wash it off and it almost replenishes all the lost moisture and it creates reserves for the next day so I love this I used to use a lot of sheet masks but I realized that you know sheet masks are not really environmentally friendly you're throwing out a lot of sheets and they tend to just give you a moist moisture within the 15 to 20 minutes and if you don't take that mask off it will literally dry out your skin by consuming back the formula by drying out on the sheet so I think this is great because it just gives you moisture all throughout night I use the face mask three times a week and everything else every night all right guys so I hope you enjoyed my nighttime skincare routine I absolutely enjoyed showing it to you guys my biggest tip for today is don't focus too much on applying makeup and looking into makeup products but instead focus on finding the right skincare products and the right skincare routine for yourself and everything else can follow later I love you all so much I'll see you in my next video bye